let's turn this sword into really cool mighty glowing sword. First thing that I like to do is to make the selection of a sword basically to extract it out of the background. So anything that I want to apply this glow effect, just go to quick selection, select subject, whatever you want, just extract it out of the background. We need this layer mask and you will see why. So I will create a new layer and just move this layer mask to that layer. We don't need it on a sword layer. We'll name this white because we will use this layer limited by this layer mask and use a white color with really cool soft brush right here with 100% opacity and I will paint the white everywhere where I like the glow to be applied. So I want the glow to be all the way here and all the way here and all the way. By the way, I'm holding shift to just make the straight lines and just clicking with the mouse or the pen. And now I will just move it right there. Also apply, apply the glow here, basically painting the mask where the glow will be visible. Then I will go with a little bit uh, different brush that is sensitive to a pressure. So if you don't have a pen with the pressure sensitivity, you can just lower the opacity right here and do the, the same. But I can control this option with my pen and the pressure. So that's cool. And just a little bit more glow here that I want to be applied. And also I want this to glow a lot. So something like this and the point here will glow the most. So this is pretty decent and also for now that's cool but what we also need is to go and uh, make a copy of the sword you will see really quickly why control command j and turn it into black and white so shift control u or shift command u on the mac is a shortcut perfect and then create a new layer that i will call black and with this new layer i will use black color obviously and i will paint on everything that I don't want to be visible, that I don't want to be affected by the glow. So basically, I'm making a mask, like a regular Photoshop mask. Everything that is black will not be affected. Everything that is white will be affected. Basically, I'm making black and white version of the sword and we will see later how this will be transformed into a mask and then that mask into a glow. So. I don't want this part to glow too much. So like that, it's personal preference, do whatever you want, experiment and uh, different objects, different results. But for now, this is pretty much okay. And basically what I will do now, I will transform this into a selection, really simple and easy. Go to channels, control or command and click to RGB channel right here. And in that way, we will select the brightest part in the image from 50% brightness all the way to 100% brightness and go right here, create solid color adjustment layer and it will automatically add this selection as a mask. I want this to be white color and that's it. We can now hide all of this. As you can see, we just made turn all these layers into this one with layer mask. This is perfectly okay what we want, but also I will create a new layer and uh, fill it with black. If black is foreground color, alt and backspace or option and backspace on a Mac. And this is temporary just to uh, not be distracted by the sword down below. Perfect. Okay, now that we have this, I will make a copy of this layer, Control or Command J. And in this case, we will turn this color into a little bit more brighter tone. So instead of white, the next tone in a glow spectrum is something kind of a yellow, maybe like, like this. We will see maybe this one or a little bit brighter. We'll see that. And uh, we will need another one, but just for a moment, we will turn this off and I will go and narrow down this, this glow only to the edges even more. So to do that, I can just go and use levels. So image adjustments, levels, and just go with the black and see I'm narrowing down this. So perfect. I want a little bit more narrowed effect with this. Let's say this is, let's say this is okay. And now if I turn this on and put it into linear dodge blending mode and this one also into linear dodge blending mode, we have some cool effect, but with the yellow, I want to expand it a little bit. So I want to glow, go a little bit around the sword. So for that, I will control and click on the layer mask to load the selection, go here and use feather selection. Or if you don't have a newest version of Photoshop, go the old way, select modify feather is exactly the same option. 
and I will go with maybe 20 pixels for radius of 20 pixels for this example and make sure that you are on the layer mask not on the layer so right here and I will fill it with the white so alt and backspace once or maybe twice yeah twice and this is really cool we already have that outer glow right here but also if I press alt or option on the Mac and click on this we will see the layer mask and I want to use a black color and really nice soft brush a little bit wider and uh, also black yeah, black color and just want to remove from the middle here a little bit. I don't want too much here in the middle of the sword. Like like that. Perfect. And also what I like to do now is to make a copy of this one, Control Command J. So basically we have three layers and this one will be more like reddish orange tone. Like like this and also make sure that this is in linear dodge blending mode and I want to expand this even more so again the same procedure control and click on this one go and feather selection this time will go even more with 50 pixels for example and make sure that you are on the layer mask and fill it with the white once twice maybe twice is okay maybe even three times is okay so depends what kind of effect you want to achieve and deselect control or command D and that's it now let's see this mask it's okay, but I also want to go and just remove a little bit from the middle of the sword here. So maybe, maybe like that. Okay, let's go back here. And this is how it looks for now. This is perfect. And also what we need is overall glow around the sword. So for that, I will create a new layer and put it again into linear dodge blending mode and go with a little bit darker reddish tone something like probably something like this is cool maybe a little bit towards the orange and again soft brush and maybe 30 percent opacity or something and just paint paint here so i'm just painting right right here and uh, making this really cool glow and also I don't want to apply this over the top of the sword. So I will again use this layer mask, press Alt or Option and just drag and drop to uh, copy it right here and invert it, Control or Command I to invert it. And this way we are painting this glow to everything except the sword. And this is exactly what we want. And I will go with a little bit more orangey and a little bit more brighter tone like that and paint here a little bit more. So just, just nearby the sword and now the fun part starts but before that in case you're wondering how to improve your imagination or how to organize your workflow to be even more efficient I have a perfect place for you and that's a Skillshare by the way Skillshare is a sponsor for today's video and Skillshare is an online learning community with the thousands of classes where you can find a topic of practically anything that you're interested in and they have a lot of great lessons of creativity and how to unleash your creativity get amazing ideas and uh, be more productive and so on and so forth. Recently, I finished the course from Ali, how to organize your workflow to maximize productivity and how to be even more efficient so you can have even more time for other things. Skillshare has hundreds of career focused classes too. So traditional jobs, works are not one size fit for all. So you can learn how to design a career that fits you. Also, you can learn how to build your portfolio and get gigs you want or organic Instagram growth, create shareable content and so on and so forth. So for all that and much more Skillshare is giving to first 1000 people who click the link down in the description one month completely free trial so you can browse the content and learn some new skills. Grab this opportunity is completely free, but be fast because it's limited to 1000 people and uh, maybe you learn some new skills that will improve your workflow or get some new ideas or change your life to better, etc. Right now, let's go back to video. Now we need to go and merge all of this into one layer by pressing Shift Control Alt T or Shift Command Option E on a Mac. I will name this layer Glow. And now I can set everything here into group Control Command G and just hide the group. We don't need anything here, we just need this. We also we also don't need these things at all. But let me show you, we have the sword layer and we have the glow layer. We use all of this to make the glow layer. And also let, let me just to not be confusion, move everything into this group and hide. Basically we have these two layers. And now we need to change the blending mode from normal to one of these Blending modes right here, except the color dodge. We don't want color dodge, you will see why. Lighten, really cool. Screen, also really cool. Linear dodge, cool. 
light in color, cool. But color dodge, ah, eh, not so good. So we don't want that. So I will go with maybe screen or lighten, lighten. And I don't know if you can see because of the YouTube compression, maybe you will see bending around the sword somewhere here. And in order to avoid the bending, you can just use the trick by adding a noise or another cool trick is to just an, add another background because we have just a plain background right here, black background. Usually this is why we have a noise. But now if I use this mask for the sword and put it right there, if I add another background right here like this, something that is dark, whatever, and move it all the way down below and I can also make it even darker, it doesn't matter. So let's use a some curves like that. You can see probably is better. I don't know how, how it looks on YouTube compression because I'm currently working live here, not looking at a YouTube. But with this, you can definitely make it better. And if you're using this in your composite, you will uh, basically not use it on completely black background. You will use in some situations and you will have amazing results. So this is it. This is before. This is after really cool glow. And also another cool thing is that you can use hue and saturation adjustment layer and clip it to affect only the glow layer and we can easily change to any color that we like. So this is an option and also you can boost the saturation, lower the saturation or make it completely black and white to have like a white glow which is useful for so many situations but I like this one, this kind of uh, reddish orangey glow and that's cool. I will use that and also if you don't like something you can always go back here, either use these layers and change the glow settings where the glow will be um, shown or just create a layer mask right there and use a black color and maybe lower the amount of glow that is affecting things. I don't know, just, just experiment like that and have something like, like that. And maybe you don't want to be so pronounced here, but if you want, maybe you want something like that. I don't like it, but I'm just showing you the option. So something like this is really cool. Again, before and after, before and after. You can use this advanced technique to create a glow on any object that you like and make your photos even more interesting. You just need to follow these steps that I show you today and create this glow layer basically and turn it into one of these blending modes that I show you today. And this is it. You have it. If you want to know how to use the AI in Photoshop in your advantage to create some amazing brushes really quickly, Check out this video.